Welcome students to my YouTube channel which is dedicated for chemistry learners particularly. Uh, we have started the series of lectures on this careers in chemistry and in that series this is the third episode and uh, in which we are going to see about the career opportunities for chemistry student in a very important forensic science department. Now before going to explain about on which position you can apply in forensic science department let me explain in brief about the forensic science department. Students, forensic science department is very important department which is dedicated for crime investigation. We can say that along with police department, parallelly this forensic science department works for investigation of crimes. Now what they do? They do the crime uh, scene evaluation, collection of samples and that samples are evaluated by the officials of forensic science department and their report is authentic in the court to uh, proceed further in crime investigation. So you can imagine how important this department is, is in and it is very pride honor to work in this department to help the society. Now let's start about uh, today's video that is uh, what is the career opportunities for chemistry student in forensic science department. Now let me explain first the hierarchy of uh, officers in forensic science department. This department is headed by the director of forensic science department. Director of forensic science department. This director uh, headquarter is in Mumbai or uh, it is in capital of every state. Okay. So the director is assisted by the deputy directors. Deputy directors. Now there are many laboratories across uh, the state for example if we consider the Maharashtra state then there are various laboratories situated like in Aurangabad, Pune, Nashik, Kolhapur, Nagpur etc. So every laboratory is headed by this deputy director. Then this deputy director is assisted by assistant director. Assistant director. Okay. So you can say that this assistant director is the head of the department of particular division and this assistant director is headed by uh, supported by assistant chemical analyzer assistant chemical analyzer okay so assistant chemical analyzer has its own investigation team so they have investigation now in this investigation team there is a scientific officer scientific officer then there is a scientific assistant scientific assistant and there are some lab attendant pun etc so overall this is the hierarchy of uh, this department forensic science department now uh, this post assistant chemical analyzer is group b post i can say group b post this is group a post this is also group a post group a post okay so these are also group b post this post are gazetted post okay gazetted post means government has to resolve the gr for their appointment that are known as gazetted post so they are very important post so if we consider this hierarchy of uh, positions in this forensic science department then this post is very important assistant chemical analyzer and on this post you can directly join there by the public service commission of that particular state suppose you are in maharashtra then this post is filled by Maharashtra Public Service Commission directly. These posts, scientific officer and scientific assistant post are filled by that particular forensic science department uh, depending upon the number of vacancies. So the notification of this scientific officer and scientific assistant is directly given by that particular department. They decide the exam pattern, mode of selection and accordingly they select. So if you want to join in this department as a scientific officer or scientific assistant, then you should be a graduate in chemistry or in other subject as well. But, but particularly if I talk about chemistry, then you should be graduate in chemistry uh, so that you can apply on this post scientific assistant. 
Today in this video I am going to focus on this post that is assistant chemical analyzer because this is the core post of this department and once you join the assistant chemical anal as an assistant chemical analyzer in this department in early ages then you can become assistant director or deputy director through the promotion. So this post is very important assistant chemical analyzer. So today we are going to explain in detail about this assistant chemical analyzer post. So let's see about the assistant chemical analyzer post. <clears throat> As I said earlier, this assistant uh, chemical analyzer is group B post, uh, which is a gazetted post, gazetted post and filled by MPSC. Okay. Uh, if you are in other state, then that is filled by your state's public service commission. If I talk particularly about Maharashtra, then this is filled by the Maharashtra Public Service Commission. Now what happened if there are vacancies of assistant chemical analyzer in this particular department then they provide that vac vacancies to the Public Service Commission and that Public Service Commission arranges the procedure to select the assistant chemical analyzers. Now first of all let's see what is the eligibility criteria to apply this post. Eligibility. Eligibility is you should be a postgraduate in chemistry chemistry, biochemistry or in forensic ok so if you are a uh, chemistry postgraduate or you are a biochemistry postgraduate or you are a forensic science postgraduate at least you should have a second class second class then you are eligible to fill the form of this assistant chemical analyzer so if you are have a post graduation in chemistry biochemistry forensic science with second class then you should uh, be able to do this uh, apply for this examination that is assistant chemical analyzer now then we will see the age limit what is the age limit now age limit depends upon the public service commission of every state now if you compare uh, if you consider only the maharashtra public service commission then for open it is a uh, 38 years and for reserved category or for physically handicapped persons it is 43 years okay and if you are in a government service already then there is a no age limit so for government service for government employee no age limit okay so this is the age limit uh, if you are in open category then you can uh, apply for this examination up to 38 years if you are in reserved category or physically handicapped then uh, you can apply up to 43 years and if you are a government employee in the uh, maharashtra state already then there is a no age limit so this is about the eligibility and age limit of this particular uh, uh, post okay now let's see about the salary which is given by this post uh, for this post so as per seven pay commission the salary comes under salary comes under s yes, 15 pay scale this s yes, 15 pay scale is around 41,800 to 1 lakh 32 thousand 300 rupees that means this is the basic pay scale so if you are uh, joining this department as a fresher or as a starting then this is your basic 41,800 and this basic they will add HRA, they will add DA and they will add TA. So HRA is house rent allowance, there is deputy, uh, daily allowances and this traveling allowance. Okay. So if we combine all these allowances then this salary becomes around uh, 60 to 65 thousand rupees per month initially so uh, we can say that the salary is sound uh, good salary is there now then we will see about the mode of examination or how the exam pattern is there okay so let's see the exam pattern exam pattern so when uh, MPSC gives notification about this post then uh, after few months uh, when they want to take the examination then they provide the syllabus also so they will take the screening test 
screening test okay screening test is of 200 marks and uh, it comprises 100 questions 100 questions okay each question will carry two marks each question carry two marks so in this way there is a 200 mark screening test so there is a negative marking as well negative marking as well so one fourth negative marking is there so for the four wrong questions uh, the marks of one right questions will be deducted so this is the exam pattern screening test is there for 200 marks so if we clear this screening test if you pass the screening test then you have to appear for the interview and this interview is of 50 marks okay so on combinedly uh, 200 marks of screening test and 50 marks of interview they will uh, make the merit out of 250 marks and select the candidates okay now let's see about the syllabus of this examination so i will uh, explain the syllabus in brief So let's see the syllabus. Actually, uh, if you have done the post graduation in analytical chemistry, then the syllabus is easy for you. So there are uh, basic techniques in analytical chemistry, basic techniques in analytical chemistry. This is the part A. Uh, in this basic technique, there are basic concepts related to analytical chemistry. Then uh, there are basic analytical techniques. Basic analytical techniques in inorganic chemistry. In inorganic chemistry. Then uh, basic analytical techniques. Basic analytical techniques in organic chemistry and uh, finally basic analytical techniques in organic uh, sorry uh, biochemistry so detail of the syllabus points i will not explain over here i will provide the link of syllabus in the description box but particularly you have to remember that the basic concepts of analytical chemistry are asked then basic uh, analytical techniques used in inorganic chemistry like solvent extraction, gravimetric analysis, etc. And uh, if we uh, see the syllabus of basic analytical techniques in organic chemistry, then the syllabus related to spectroscopy is there, IR spectroscopy, mass spectroscopy, NMR spectroscopy, etc. And uh, in biochemistry as well, there are basic tools used in biochemistry are also there in the syllabus. So this is the uh, uh, scope of syllabus we can say in this uh, particular examination details of syllabus is there in the description box you can see that syllabus okay so this is about the syllabus for the screening test now if we pass the screening test then they will ask you for the interview and uh, that interview is of, is of 50 marks and uh, in that interview uh, they will check for the personality of yourself and uh, as well as the knowledge of forensic science department and current studies as well so this is all about the uh, syllabus pay scale eligibility then uh, age criteria of this post so finally i will discuss about the assistant chemical analyzer post this post is very important as per as forensic science department is concerned because this is the core post it is in between the higher officials and uh, lower officials they what they uh, have to do in the forensic science department that i will explain in brief actually the samples which are uh, collected uh, on the crime scene that are collected sometimes by the forensic science uh, department official if the crime is very big then they ask the forensic science department officials and in that case particularly assistant chemical analyzers are asked to come on the crime scene and to collect the samples then that samples are collected by the uh, assistant chemical analyzers and if not collected by the assistant chemical analyzer then police department will directly provide the samples to the forensic science department as per their procedure when the sample come to the forensic science department that sample is reported to the assistant chemical analyzer and his team 
and then they do the sample investigation. The sample investigation is done by the team which is uh, headed by the assistant chemical analyzer. That team has a scientific assistant, lab attendant and pune. They will investigate the samples and that report is submitted to the assistant chemical analyzer. Sometime if assistant chemical analyzer found some uh, mistakes in the sample investigation then he itself do the uh, investigation of that particular samples and that uh, report is uh, finally submitted to the higher official that is assistant director which is head of the department of that particular department and uh, when court asked to come in the court as well as uh, there also assistant chemical analyzer has to report in the court as well okay so this is the in brief role of assistant chemical analyzer again uh, if you join earlier in this department at the age of 23 or 24 then after the service of 10 to 15 years or 16 years you will uh, be promoted on assistant director post and if you, you still has age criteria then you will also promote it to the deputy director post. So overall it is very a technical post, a technical administrative post in the crime investigation and it is very important in the crime investigations. Okay, So I hope you have understood uh, about the job opportunities for a chemistry student in forensic science department particularly we have in detail explained about assistant chemical analyzer so if you are interested in uh, joining this department as assistant chemical analyzer and if you are a student of bsc chemistry or msc chemistry right now then i will advise you to start the study of this post because these posts are not filled on regular basis actually these posts are filled in two years or three years uh, at the interval of two three years so if you are in age limit of below 38 years or if you are in reserve category then below 43 years then whenever advertisement come you have to apply for this post because the career is very good so you have to uh, start study by taking the syllabus syllabus is there on mpsc website as well uh, and uh, i will i have uploaded it in on the description as well so this post is filled by the public service commission and the details are as above so i hope this video is uh, helpful to all the students of bsc as well as msc chemistry and those who are aspiring to do the career in forensic science department they will be benefited from this so in this video uh, that that much is sufficient if you like this video then try to share with your friends uh, to get this information and if you want to know the same content in further uh, future uh, related to the chemistry then try to subscribe the channel so we'll stop here thank you